In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, shortly after Paul writes that we have the treasure of the gospel in jars of clay, in fragile human bodies, he writes in verse 14, We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. Although the clay jars will someday be broken or shattered, that will not be the end of the story. The resurrection of Jesus, which we commemorated last Sunday, is also a promise to us that we will also be raised back to life and will be given glory with Jesus. And as he says here in verse 14, he will present us all to himself to be with him forever. All this is for your benefit, he says in verse 15. All the hardships involved in preaching the gospel are for the benefit of the people. So, he says in verse 15, that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. This is good news for the people, and it shows how good God is. Therefore, he says in verse 16, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Although outwardly in our bodies we are weak, and for most of us we are getting weaker year by year, but inwardly in our spiritual life we are being renewed. It may not feel like it sometimes when our mental abilities aren't as sharp as they used to be, but God but Paul says that we are being renewed in the inner person. God is working in us, shaping us, even through our difficulties and our weakness. And in verse 17, Paul refers to our light and momentary troubles. Earlier in the letter, he had talked about how he was in severe trials, even to the despair of death. But here he says that even these severe difficulties are actually small and temporary. They will pass. They will not last forever. These difficulties, he says, are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. The disease epidemic has affected us all, uh, some directly through disease, others less directly through restrictions on our shopping and social gatherings. But Paul is saying that whatever pain, sorrow, and inconveniences we might face, they are helping prepare for us an eternal glory that will make all the pain seem insignificant. Even though the pain might be great now, even if we despair, it will all be overshadowed by the glory that God has prepared for us. So we focus on what he has promised, not on the problems around us, because all these things are temporary, but the glory of God will outweigh them all and will last forever. That's good news for us.